Hey guys, Gary Liss Mondering here. So I uh, I'd forgotten to pray earlier today, so I went and did that um, while I was thinking about it. And uh, and then after I uh, did that, I read uh, Building Websites for Dummies for uh, for about 10 minutes. And the information I found in here was extremely useful, a very useful information. Um, so uh, this time around, I was reading about um, if your uh, if your website has any server-side code. Um, so now I don't know anything about coding, but this is important because uh, that lets me know that if you build a website, you can actually build server-side code into your side of the website. So that's good to know for future reference. Uh, another thing is they talk about bandwidth. So what kind of what kind of bandwidth uh, do you want for your uh, do you want for your uh, website? You know how much space is it going to take up? How many visitors is it going to have a month, and so on? Uh, they talk about um, file storage, which is also useful. You know, how big is the file storage going to be? You know, if you're going to use graphics, lots of graphics and stuff like that. And another, uh, the last one that was interesting is it talks about what kind of, uh, what kind of web host you're going to have. Is it going to be a shared server or a dedicated server? Uh, and this is, uh, this is also useful because that means that you can, you know, there's two. So if you do a shared server, it's cheaper, as you can imagine. Uh, but, the other websites that are on that server can influence your uh, your website as well. So if they get lots of traffic, then your server slows down and vice versa, you slow theirs down. By contrast, you can get a dedicated server, which is much more expensive. But um, but if your website ends up gaining traction, that's something that's worth uh, worth knowing. So uh, so that's why I learned this uh, this time around. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spend some time on Japanese. So I'll let you guys know how it goes.